Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the Pandora Behavior Engine. The reason you're going to want to be using this engine over Finesse or Nemesis is because of the fact that it is compatible with both types of animation mods. And not only that, it generates animation files way quicker than both. First thing you're going to want to do is come to the Pandora GitHub. Unfortunately, it's not on Nemesis yet. Scroll down to this quick start and hit the install on it and make sure you have this prerequisite. After you install the .NET file for whatever your system is, the way you're going to find this is by going into your file explorer, right clicking on this PC, scrolling down to properties, and then looking at your system type. And it'll say x64 or x86 processor. After you figure that out, download the file that you need and then go back to the GitHub. On the right hand side, you'll see releases and it will show you the latest Pandora release based on whenever you're watching this video. Click on that, scroll down and click on Pandora Behavior Engine Zip. Make sure you don't download the source code, you're looking for the zip here. After you download the zip, you can go into your MO2 and delete both the Nemesis mod and the Nemesis output. You won't need them anymore. After you delete these both from your load order, you're gonna to wanna to look at the top of the MO2 toolbar up here and click on this drop down menu and then click create empty mod and name it Pandora output. The reason we're doing this is so whenever you create an output for Pandora, it doesn't go to your overwrite, it's going to go to this mod. Now after you create that, you're just going to want to go up to the top, hit file, install mod, and then install Pandora itself. After you install Pandora, make sure you activate it and then go to the right hand side of MO2, click on this drop down, hit edit, and then hit the plus icon right here and add from file you're going to be adding the Pandora executable. Go to wherever your mods are installed after you install them to MO2, and then scroll down and find the Pandora folder. Make sure you don't click on the output folder and make sure you click on the Pandora engine folder, and then click on the EXE. After you do that, click on the Pandora behavior engine plus in the modify executables, click on the create file in mod instead of overwrite, check that, and then hit this drop down box to the right and click on that Pandora output mod that you created earlier. After you're done doing that, you can open up the Pandora executable inside your MO2 and click on any and all mods that you want to have animations for. After you do that, you can click this play button. I don't know why it's a play button. It used to say launch. It may say launch for you. Click on that and it should very quickly generate all of the animation files that you need. Make sure you activate the output folder and that's it. You're done with installing Pandora and that is also how you use it. If this video was helpful in any way or you liked it, leaving a like is always helpful. And if you guys are trying to look into how to make your female characters beautiful, then it'll be right here on the screen. Have a great day.